FASU's improv troupe doesn't need a script or rules to perform, only suggestions. So sit back, relax, and get your suggest ready, because SFA Now starts now. Hi, and thank you for joining us today on SFA Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Roosh. On today's show, we will be talking about Stephen F. Austin State University Improv Troupe, Improv Strikes Back. Joining us today is Maddie Myers. Thank you for joining us today. Of course, thank you for having me. So tell us, what is improv? Improv is improv, it's improv theater, um, theater without a script. Uh, we just take suggestions and put on like a little sketch or something like you would see on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Okay. So yeah. Um, it, since it's not script, like how do the performances, like how do they usually go throughout the time? Well, um, <laughs> it's interesting. We typically get, um, if we have audience members, we get suggestions from the audience based on the game that we're playing. Um, we all know the structure of the games, and that, so that's kind of how that works. Um, but yeah, then we just kind of roll with the punches, so you never know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> okay. Um, what are some of those games? Oh, wow. Well, we have... Um, a lot of like fan favorites are like superheroes where um, everyone gets a different super, or su we give each other superheroes. We have party, party quirks where everyone gets like a different character and the host has to guess who we are. Um, we have things like uh, voice dub where there's two people being another two people's voices and they are doing the physical stuff and you just kind of never know what's going to come out of their mouths. <laughs> okay. Know? Um, what is the story behind Improv Strikes Back? Like, how did you guys get started? Well, it actually started um, before I was even at SFA. Spring 2012, um, there were some students that started learning improv games from an old professor of ours. Um, and they just would meet up at night and play improv games. And then eventually, uh, five of those students decided to start an actual performance troupe. And from there, they became our original five officers. And it's just grown from there. Okay. Um, where did the name, like, how did you guys come up with the name Improv Strikes Back? Um, Improv Strikes Back, there was, um, I think, more of a vote, kind of a voting process. We've joked about it being called Swag Prov, things like that. But mm -hmm. Improv Strikes Back comes from Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Um, okay. So it's kind of on our new shirts, we have Let the Farce Be With You. So kind of just a play on words. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, compared to, when it first started, at least since you've been there, how has the troop grown? It's grown a lot. Um, like I said, the original f the members were there's just five of them, and now we currently have 15. We've been as big as 16, and so we have kind of a big troop now. And so, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, what are some of the things that y'all do as a troop? Um, well, as a troop by ourselves, we have our rehearsals every week um, and just have our games and then when we go out and perform we've performed in the theater building um, after main stage productions we've performed at the Liberty Bell we've performed just kind of out on campus um, we're all kind of all over the place so you guys really just kind of go everywhere and anywhere as far as yeah the uh, as where as far as where you perform uh, where are some of your favorite places to perform around here in Nacogdoches um, well we really enjoy performing at the Liberty Bell we um, of course kind of have our safe space in theater where we're just comfortable there. We enjoy performing there. Um, we've really enjoyed performing kind of outside. We'll do it over by Surf and Steve, and that's a lot of fun because people around us don't expect it. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Take them by surprise yeah, in that way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what are some of the reactions that you guys get from, uh, from doing your shows? We've got, we've got a lot of really positive reactions. Um, people kind of, I know especially... Um, all our friends come and watch that just aren't, don't know what to expect with improv. Um, we always compare it to whose line is it anyway. That's the best comparison. But mm -hmm. we just get a lot of positive, like people are surprised, pleasantly surprised by um, how it works and how it flows well without there being a script or anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, how did you get how did you get into improv strikes back how did I get into improv I had friends of course that were in improv and um, 
I've always enjoyed that kind of thing. Comedy has always been something I've really loved to do. So I just auditioned, kind of not knowing what I was getting myself into, and um, got into the troupe. And it's just been a blast ever since. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, so <clears throat> excuse me. How would you how would you tell someone like if someone want to get involved like if you wanted what to, type of person would you be looking for what are some of those things they would need to know or if they just wanted to come to see you guys how would they know where to go well we do have a Facebook group um, Improv Strikes Back and so you could go and we put a lot of our information there when we have auditions you can find that information there our shows we always post when and where that's going to be and we also um, have open rehearsals sometimes where you can come and just play games with us and kind of learn a little more about what improv's about. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would you say is like one of your favorite parts about improv versus scripted theater? Um, I think I it's improv's how we start our week off. Sundays we go in and have rehearsal and it's just you go in not knowing what to expect. We sit down and I always end up just having such a great time watching us just play these games and like I said you never know what's going to come out of anyone's mouth and so it just ends up being such a good time because it's so it's just so funny all the time. Okay well let's take a look at some of the things that go on during the show and find out how they get the world how they get the word out there. Starting in 2012, 2013, Improv Strikes Back was a group of students getting together to enjoy improv. They started by having one show a semester. Now they have numerous shows with a packed house of fans ready to throw out suggestions. Having to have two shows a night to be able to house all the audience members, Improv Strikes Back had to start looking for new locations to perform. They have now performed at Miller's Crossing, the Liberty Bell, Kerr Hall, the Student Center Movie Theater, and the Rehearsal Hall in the band building, just to name a few. They have gone from a group of students getting together to enjoy improv to a group of students entertaining packed houses with one goal in mind, commit to the bit. No, 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 I'm not talking about that part, I'm talking about the part. Oh, no, you're talking about the part under your seat? Dad, fuck me, I'm moving you too much. No, no, not that part. To find out more information about Improv Strikes Back or to see when their next show is, you can check them out on Facebook at Improv Strikes Back. So Maddie, who are your friends that you brought with you today? Uh, this is Keenan and this is Joel, which is members of our improv troupe. Joel and Keenan, thank you, thank you all for being here today with us. Thanks for having us. No problem. So for all you viewers out there, we are going to show you the, we are going to show you what improv is all about. I'll be joining y'all. I'll be joining you guys in this fun. Uh, what is this game that we're going to be playing, and what are the rules to it? Uh, this is voice dub. Uh, so all we're going to do is we're going to be the voices. I'll be the voice for Maddie, and Keenan will be the voice for you. And we're going to kind of switch up this interview and <laughs> interview in a different way. This is going to. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> I can tell you that right off the bat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yep. Ready? Okay. So, hello. Welcome to the interview. I go to interview you. Uh, please state your name. Hi, oh, yes. I'm Madison Myers, and I'm just ready to be here. Oh, well, I'm so glad to have you on my show. Uh, can I get a fist bump? Give me the fist bump. Fist uh, bump. Oh, but shake and bake. Those are my favorite things to do. Oh, you like the Ricky Bobby. Yeah, I like that movie. He's, he's so great. He is so funny. I, I sleep on his bed sheets every night. Oh, I love so, you, Will. So that's what I came to interview you about, uh, your new relationship with Mr. Will Ferrell. Thank you. We're actually not very public yet. Uh, he just doesn't want his own wife to know. Um, but yeah, he's just a normal guy, uh, just like anybody else. He has stinky feet. Uh, he has stinky hands. He's just a real stinky guy. Oh, but you like this thing, yes. I heard you like this thing. Yes, I love the stink because I, too, am a very horrid-smelling person. I smell like a cat just threw up on a diaper. Oh, that's
that's one of my favorite scents. I must say that I have the cologne for it on right now. Could you smell? You must smell my hand. Mm, yes, the yes. pungent yes. aroma yes. is burning very, my nostrils. Very pungent. Oh yes. So anyway, uh, I, I have something I want to ask you. Um, I've been trying to get around to this, so you know, it's been kind of stressful at work and all this. I can tell you're glistening like yes. a spring ham. Yes, I, I, I just feel like a little porcelain Barbie doll. Um, will, will you marry me? Well, this is just so sudden, I, I don't know how I will take this. You know what? You know what, I don't even care. Your lips just like, they look just like those caterpillars that are all over my car right now. Have you seen those caterpillars? Oh, I have so many of them. They're so hairy and juicy, and, and you know what? I just, I just can't not kiss them right now. Oh, please, yes, kiss me. <laughs> Come on, let's kiss. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting on you, sweet cheeks. No, you first. No, you first. No, meet me halfway. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this thing. It's, go it's going to happen. It's yes, I just wanted so happen. bad. This is all I've wanted for my entire life. My whole life. Please kiss me. Oh, oh, wait. I forgot you were in jail and there's a glass wall in between us. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, honey. I'm so How sorry. will we ever be together? I don't know, but I like coming and interviewing you in your prison visits and pretending that you live with Will Ferrell and that we're not married yet. Well, I'm going to go make some wine in my toilet now. Okay. Bye-bye. I love you. Sheila! Time's up, prisoner. Well, thanks for joining us today. For more information about Improv Strikes Back or to see when their next show is, check them out on Facebook. Thanks again to Improv Strikes Back, and thanks to Maddie, Joelle, and Keenan for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Roosh, and thank you for watching. Let's play, let's play a little bit more. Okay. Hey, keep going? Okay. All right. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, new voices. New voices? Yeah, yeah, yeah new that's voices. Okay. Hello, that's and this is Arnold Hour, and it's me, Arnold, and it's this Arnold Hour now. Yes, we are here with guest Whitney Houston. Oh, hello, Whitney. Where have you been? How you doing? Uh, I, you know, I've just been taking some time to myself. You know, I really wanted to make sure that I was ready for this interview, because, you know, I've been getting a lot of a lot of stress from the public, and, you know, people been been up my case lately, you know, that scandal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's been real good seeing you back. We know you faked, you faked your death uh, last year. You've been in the Caribbean, apparently. Yes, I've been putting my feet up, you know, just kind of chilling in a hut. You look so good. Your hair, so good. Uh, you've got a movie coming out. What's that movie? Uh, this movie is actually uh, Fast 8. It's the new Fast and the Furious. It's boat races, and uh, we're going to be dressed as knights. <laughs> I, will, I will not go see that. Uh, we hear that the entire cast is CGI Paul Walker. Oh, you're actually right. It's just a bunch of Paul Walker clones. And I don't know why I'm starting to, 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 to take on you. Every time I talk to somebody, I just I turn into them. I know. know. My Arnold <laughs> accent just went away, too, because I'm not Arnold. <laughs> I'm actually a, a bagel. Oh, oh, you've been hiding all along. Well, me, too. I'm actually... Uh, I am I am the real Arnold. Uh, yes, the Terminator. Welcome to my island hut thing. I've been pretending to be Whitney Houston for f 15 years now. <laughs> oh my gosh, me a bagel. This this is such an honor to be able to see you, Mr. Uh, Schwarzenegger. I've been impersonating you for a very long time. My parents kicked me out of my, our house. They, you know, I didn't have a job, but but now me. A bagel. Yeah, I'm a very good fan of you too. I like the uh, blueberry one with extra protein powder.